What is a short sale? Now, depending on how the market is going, you could see a bunch of short sales or you may not see them mentioned at all. And this is what they mean. It means that the seller is wanting to sell their home short of what they owe on their mortgage. So why is that important to you as a buyer? Well, as a seller, let me back up. You actually have to fill out a significant amount of paperwork. If you find yourself in a financial hardship, you can pursue this option, but you're gonna be negotiating with your bank, your lender holder, and asking them for their permission. And it's a very lengthy process. So now if you're buying, that's link, that lengthy process is what you need to be aware of. Their lender is going to think about allowing the short sale once they have a contract. So the day you submit the contract, everyone agrees between you and the seller, then the banks start their process. They're gonna order multiple appraisals. They're gonna ask realtors to give multiple valuations and their opinions and things like that. These things can take months. And you definitely wanna make sure that your earnest money deposit is not being held up the entire time. But more often than not, what happens is they take months and then they come back and they say, no, I'm sorry. So I even had a listing one time that was a short sale and we had it all under contract. It was a fantastic contract and the slightest little thing went sideways, which was the appraiser came out and he thought he was doing me a favor and he gave it a pretty high valuation. The bank came back and said, if it's worth that much, you don't need to do a short sale at all. The contract fell completely through and it ended up turning into a foreclosure. So anything that can happen, the lenders are not really encouraged to do with it. It takes a lot of time. They have to demonstrate hardship, but you're probably gonna end up wanting to pop smoke on it far before it goes to closing. So that's what you need to know about a short sale.